Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. 2020 has been an unpredictable year for sure. And who's to say that it won't get worse in the months remaining or the years to come. So today we're going over the best cowboy boots for the zombie apocalypse. Let's get into it. Old boots got soul and I carry on this way and we get better. I don't think any of us would be surprised if there just happened to be a zombie apocalypse after everything we've seen so far. So you gotta start thinking about what boots are you gonna set aside for when that time actually comes. In the popular show, The Walking Dead, Rick Grimes wears cowboy boots. They are Justin Model 2222 bullhide boots. But is that the best option? if there was to be a zombie apocalypse? For me, it comes down to two really important things. I want maximum durability and maximum protection because you can't get your boots fixed if they happen to break because there would be no cobblers around, nobody doing business. They're all trying to run away from zombies at that point. So they have to last as long as possible and protect your feet and lower leg as much as possible. And I can break down those two points, maximum protection and maximum durability into five different qualities on the cowboy boot. That is, what kind of leather does it use? How tall is the cowboy boot? How tall is the heel? What is the outsole made of? And what is the insole made of? So let's get into those five points. The kind of leather is really important. I would want a cowhide, a bullhide, or an elephant boot, just because those are really, really strong. Maybe an alligator as well, but you gotta think about if a zombie was attacking you and got a hold of your foot, you don't want their teeth going through that leather and into your foot. You want as much protection as possible, and I really feel like cowhide, bullhide, and elephant are your best protecting leathers. That's good for the foot and all, but what about the leg? We gotta think about how tall the boot is gonna be. We don't want too short of a boot because that means if a zombie catches you, they can just go at your leg or your lower calf just willy-nilly. I want to say that you want about a 12 to 16 inch tall boot just for that maximum protection. But the taller you get, sometimes the more heavy it's going to be and it's not going to breathe as well. So you got to think about that too. If there really was going to be a zombie apocalypse, I would probably choose around a 12 to a 13 inch tall boot. The next thing you got to think about during the zombie apocalypse, if you have a tall boot, sometimes tall boots come with tall heels too but tall heels are not good for running at all. No, you can't go over an inch and a half heel, in my opinion. If you go over an inch and a half, you're gonna roll your ankle and it's just going to make you trip and make you vulnerable for zombie attacks. Think about an inch to an inch and a half tall heel on your zombie apocalypse cowboy boots. Now we move our way to the inside of the boot where maximum durability really matters. If we're thinking about insoles, we want something that isn't going to break down. We want it to last as long as possible because there's no one to fix or replace an insole. That's why I think the hard leather insole is your best bet for an apocalypse. The gel and foam insoles can break down and if they do break down when you're running away from zombies, they could cause you to trip or just go slower than what you normally would and then you're just zombie food and that's never good. When you have a hard leather insole, there is just less to go wrong inside the boot and that's what you want for maximum durability. 
And then for the outsole, this is a no brainer for me. I would choose a rubber outsole over the leather outsole, the hybrid or the crepe outsole, just because the rubber outsoles are gonna last you the longest. And they also have the most grip and traction for running in several different locations. A leather outsole is gonna be slippy, especially on forest floors, leaves, wet pavement, pretty much concrete, like it's just not the best. There's no traction there, you're gonna slip. You don't wanna slip when you're running away from zombies. However, it does make the boot just slightly heavier. I'd rather have a slightly heavier boot than fall and be eaten by zombies. So those would be my personal criteria for a boot that I would pick for the zombie apocalypse. Yours might be different, but when you apply Rick Grimes Justin model number 2222 to my criteria, it pretty much stacks up on every level except for the fact that it doesn't have a rubber outsole. I think that's a deal breaker. Now, you might be able to get away with having a removable foam insole inside of a cowboy boot, but I feel like you need that traction of a rubber outsole to refrain from slipping and falling and just having the traction that you need in everyday circumstances uh, trying to survive against nature and a horde of zombies. In fact, I'm surprised that Rick Grimes didn't slip more often. I mean, he certainly slipped and fell quite a bit during the whole series, but the fact that he was able to stay on his feet for the majority of the show is kind of impressive. So like I said, I might be able to make compromises in other areas of the boot, but not in the outsole. It would need a rubber outsole for me to feel comfortable running away and surviving during a zombie apocalypse. That's why out of the cowboy boots in my collection, I would choose the Hondo 7875. This is a retan leather, so it's very durable. It has a rubber outsole, it has a hard leather insole, and it is about 12 to 13 inches tall with an inch and a half stacked leather heel. So this meets the criteria on every single mark. This is the boot that I would grab during a zombie apocalypse and I'm certain that my decision would not be regrettable. I will see you on the other side. <laughs> Out of the boots that you have right now, I wanna know which ones you would choose for the zombie apocalypse. Let me know down in the comments, the brand and the model. This has been an awesome, fun video. I hope you enjoyed it too. Happy Halloween, and here's hoping that we don't have a zombie apocalypse this year or next year. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace, everybody. Have a good one. Grab the right boots for the apocalypse So you can escape without a fit With the right outsole so you don't trip And you can survive the apocalypse, yeah Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Happy Halloween, everybody. Peace. Have a good one.